This is a video on how to control your security settings within DriveWorks Pro. The security settings task provides the ability to create users and teams of users in order to control who can edit and specify projects and work with the caption information. Users are added to teams to control their access to projects. Each user has the ability to set up a name and a password which they will use to log on to the group. Teams are groups of users. Each team has a configurable set of permissions which govern whether the users in that team can capture models and edit and or specify certain projects within the group. With DriveWorks Pro open and a group and a project already open, go to the security settings task within the task explorer. As standard, there has been an administrator set up as a team and an admin set up as a user. Under the administrators team within the editing team administrators dialog box, you can see that there are numerous security settings which allow different members to capture, view and edit specifications. There is also a tab which allows you to go into each project and edit the project editing and run permissions. This image illustrates the possible hierarchy in an existing company. It demonstrates a team with three different distribution areas below it. Each distribution area will have a manager with three users below them. This can be used to demonstrate the ability to set up every different user, manager and distribution area with different privileges and controls. Back in DriveWorks Pro, I will start by adding a new team and following the hierarchy structure of the previous graphic image to create some teams and users within them. From the command bar at the top, I will click on the new team button and call it Distribution Area 1. Within Editing Team Distribution Area 1 and under the Project Permissions tab, highlight each project and check the Edit and Run project boxes and then select OK. Now from the command bar, select New User, call it User 1 and select OK. Within the Edit User dialog box and under the Teams tab, check the Distribution Area 1 box to link User 1 to Distribution Area 1. Click on OK to accept this. Now do exactly the same for User 2 and User 3. Now repeat this process and create a new team and call it Distribution Area 2. Then create a new user, call it User A, and link it to Distribution Area 2 by checking the box and clicking on OK. Do the same for new user B and user C. You also have the option to rename a user by selecting the user and selecting edit. Alternatively, you can select the user and click on rename from the command bar. If you would like to add an email to a particular user, this can be done by selecting the user and entering an email address into the email address field. If you would like to amend project permissions, simply highlight the team you would like to edit Click on to edit and then select the project before altering the edit and run permissions over to the right by checking and unchecking them. Once you have finished, click on OK to accept the changes. For more information, click on the help button any time whilst using DriveWorks Pro or visit the online help file which can be found at docs.driveworkspro.com dot com